for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad She's as always. Got a Madden 23 update video for you guys today. Today's video, I'm going to be going over the player ratings changes that just came out for week three. I've never done a video like this. I typically do uh, update videos when it comes to like gameplay changes and stuff like that. But I want to give this video a try. So if you guys like videos like this, if you want to see more videos like this, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment Woo! section. I'll, I'll keep you guys up to date as they come out week to week. Now, as far as these rating changes go, I'm going to give you my opinion on some of them. To me, there's a few that are missing. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start by giving you uh, some of the better ones here. Now I'm gonna start off with the highest rated player that changed and that's Nick Chubb. He got a plus one rating boost. He is now a 98 overall player, which seems a bit weird to me because even after King Henry had his 2,000 yard season and he's been so dominant the last couple years, I don't think he ever reached a 98. I think the, the highest he ever reached was a 97, which I was on record saying that he should have been a 99. So I don't really have an issue with Nick Chubb being a 98. I just feel like I have an issue that he hasn't been as dominant as King Henry has been to reach that 98 before King Henry does. So that part I don't really agree with. Uh, the biggest ratings boost that anybody received was my favorite, uh, for my favorite team, Darius Slay, who got a plus two overall and is now a 94 overall rated cornerback. Now, given the performance that he had against maybe the best receiver in the league and Justin Jefferson, shutting him down and getting two interceptions, I fully agree with that. I think Darius Slay put himself in the conversation as, best, as one of the best cornerbacks in the league after a performance like that on primetime Monday Night Football. Josh Allen got a plus one as well. He's another guy who, you know, criminally underrated when the game came out. I think, what was he, like a 92? when the game came out. I mean, everybody knows Josh Allen's one of the top uh, players in the game, maybe one of the top, you know, easily one of the top quarterbacks. He should keep going up as the year continues. Mark Andrews got a plus one overall as well. After coming off of a monster year last year, it shouldn't take much for him to continue to rise. Um, he's, he's putting himself in the conversation as one of the top three tight ends easily in the game, if not maybe the best. And then Mika Parsons also getting another plus one. He, I think he started the year as an 88. And he's been getting plus ones every week since, pluses every week since. Uh, once again, one of the best players in the game, criminally underrated when the game came out. So it's like they're trying to make up for this uh, with uh, week by week performances by continuously upgrading these players. Now, Mika Fitzpatrick, I think he got a plus one uh, a couple times already. He's up to a 91 overall now. Um, another one that when the top 10 safeties came out, he deserved to be on there. He wasn't on it. He's definitely on there now. Aaron Jones got a plus one Packers running back after what he had a two touchdown performance against the Bears. Then you got Justin Herbert, another guy plus one. Um, I'm, you know, the thing about Justin Herbert, I know that he got a lot of credit for his close loss against the Chiefs, but he did throw that pick six. That was something that to me kind of negated, um, you know, all the, all the hype and all the publicity that he got for playing well in that game. Next up, we got Jeffrey Simmons, um, who is one of my favorite defensive linemen. Um, who, who He's just a really underrated player, and obviously he's getting a little bit of, of love now, getting a plus one up to an 89 overall. Max Crosby, another one. I mean, this guy has been a beast since he came into the league. Um, he gets a plus one. He's up to an 89 overall. There's a lot of these that just feels like they're trying to make up for mistakes when the ratings came out, which is just really weird to me. And there's a lot of guys here, as I'm, as I'm reading this list off, I'm like, how are they not higher already? Um, they should be. Guys like Brandon Cooks, who really just plays, he's the next guy up, a plus one up to an 88 overall. Really just plays on a bad team. Uh, Brandon Schrafe, a plus, a plus one, which is another guy who, you know, like I said, as I'm seeing these overall ratings, to me, a lot of them still feel really low especially including the next guy, Lamar Jackson, who was a unanimous MVP a couple seasons ago. Now he's got a plus one to get him up to an 80 at overall. I don't know how he was not higher than that. He still should be higher than this. He should be like a 90 plus easily. I don't understand how uh, one of the most electric players in the entire game is only was only an 87 before this uh, bump, and even 88 feels small. So stuff like that, really uh, kind of crazy. Marcus Williams, uh, safety for, I think, he's, I think he's also in Baltimore now, got a plus one. And he is now an 87 overall. The players I was just mentioning, to me, all feel like superstars. Now we're getting the guys that are really just like star players or really good players. Guys like Marcus Williams, guys like DJ Reader, who's a plus one, getting to an 86 overall. Very good player, very underrated. And also Josh Allen of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Not Josh Allen, the quarterback. He's a plus one to an 86 overall. He's another guy, I think he was like a top five draft pick. And he's been, you know, playing very good for them ever since. Uh, we're going to go over some of the guys that are going down because these, some of these I definitely don't agree with. Guys like Jonathan Taylor, after two weeks, but to be a negative one, I mean, he's still like 
easily considered maybe the best or the second best running back in the game. Um, he had a monster year last year. And last year, people forget, he started really slow last year. People were talking about, like, is Jonathan Taylor overrated? Is, is he, is he going to have a sophomore slump? All kind of stuff. And then he went on to have one of the best, you know, seasons in the entire league last year. So to react by knocking him down again after two subpar weeks, to me, is ridiculous. He's a 94 overall now. Uh, Dalvin Cook. Also a negative one, same situation. I mean, he's a he's a top tier running back. I don't know how you're going to um, knock him down after two weeks. I mean, this guy, you know, he's he could easily be one of the best running backs. He's a top five running back, top ten running back in the game easily. So he's down to a nine three overall. I don't agree with either one of those. Jair Alexander dropping two points. This is the biggest drop. And you can see the Justin Jefferson effect here because Slay shut Justin Jefferson down, went up two points. Jair Alexander got pooped on and went down two points. So now Jair Alexander is a overall 92. Guys like Joe Mixon, who went negative one, is now a 92 overall. Like I said, I don't know what he's been doing. I haven't really watched the stats. But Joe Mixon has, has earned it. The same way that all the guys that I'm mentioning right now have already earned the benefit of the doubt in this league. That whether they're having a bad week or two, they probably shouldn't be going down. Cameron Jordan, one of the most consistent players in the game over the last decade, loses a point down to 90 overall. Alvin Kamara, same thing. One of the best running backs in the game. Guys, didn't he score six touchdowns in a game like a year or two ago? I mean, why would he drop a point? What happened to him in the last game that he's dropping to a now 89 overall dropping a point? I mean, I don't, I don't buy that. Uh, Joe Burrow. This one I could buy, um, even though Joe Burrow is still one of the best quarterbacks in the game easily, especially one of the best young quarterbacks in the game easily. But for some reason, he's turned the ball over like crazy. Like that to me is worth a ratings drop. So he dropped one point to an 89. Uh, Chandler Jones, once again, one of the most consistent players in the league, dropped a point to an 88 overall. Demarcus Lawrence dropping once again. That I buy. He's a good run defender too, though. But at the end of the day, yeah, I mean, he's just, he's never really been that player he was at his peak. TJ Hawkinson drops a point. Another guy who's one of the best all around tight ends in the game. Um, he drops down to an 88. Like I said, I don't know what's been going on with him. He's a young player. To me, he should be rising, not falling. But it is what it is. Adam Thielen drops a point. He didn't catch a single ball until the fourth quarter in the Eagles game. And then Daniel Hunter also dropping a point, uh, which I don't really know if I understand that either. Once again, maybe he doesn't have a sack yet or something stupid like that. Guys like Jameis Winston, who has a negative two which doesn't really surprise me considering that it is Jameis Winston. Uh, Russell Wilson, a negative two as well. Hasn't done a ton since he's been in uh, in Denver. So he's down an 85. I didn't mention Jameis Winston is down to a 75. These are definitely some named players that are, that are dropping. And plus two, minus two is actually pretty big. Noah Brown, plus two. Uh, he's up to a 72 now. Uh, he had a, what, he had a 100-yard game against the Bengals. So that, that'll do it. Amon, Saint, Amon, Amon Ross St. Brown. Also going up two points to an 80 overall. Guy had a monster rookie year. I mean, the, the Lions don't always have a ton of good stuff coming out of there, but he had a really good rookie year. I think he had close to 100 catches or close to 1,000 yards. Really good rookie year. Uh, definitely a good player. And then Cooper Rush with the biggest jump out of all of them. I don't really know if I necessarily agree with it. Jumped five points to a 63 overall. I mean, I guess he's definitely better than a 58 overall. So I can't necessarily argue with that. But you see how a couple of, uh, you know, Cowboys backups are getting some love after a good week two performance. Now, that's pretty much it. The last one that I have for you guys is rookie receiver Garrett Wilson uh, got a jump to a 78. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, I don't really have an issue with any of these uh, ratings you know, going either way. The one I do have an issue with is Jalen Hurts hasn't gotten enough love yet. The guy, I mean, if, if Darius Slay got all the, you know, a plus two after his amazing performance on Monday night, Jalen Hurts should be getting a plus two after starting off the game 10 for 10. He did something that no player in NFL history has ever done. I think it was like 300 yards rushing or 300 yards passing, 50 yards rushing, and the combination of touchdowns he had or something like that. It's never been done in NFL history. So the guy had like what, like 80 something percent completion percentage, uh, just a monster game on prime time. I don't know why he's not getting more love. You're going to give the Cowboys backup quarterback a plus five, but Jalen Hurts jumped to, I think, third in the MVP uh, Vegas ratings. I think he's only behind like Patrick Mahomes and, and Josh Allen or something like that. He jumped all the way up to third with the third best odds after that game, and he had a great week one as well. So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, hit the like button, let me know in the comments section to be a subscriber. Other than that, I'll have another video popping up that'll uh, be more gameplay based. So if you guys want to check that out, hit the link. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.